In this video, we will demonstrate how to change the oil in a Roots Ram blower. In addition to the standard Ram series, this procedure also applies to the Ram J models that feature the Whisper jet port, as well as the Ram G and GJ models, which are designed for gas service. All models in the Ram series use oil lubrication at both ends of the blower. At the drive end, an oil slinger dips into the oil sumps as the shafts turn, splashing oil into the bearings and seals. At the opposite end, a slinger and the timing gears provide this function, splashing the oil up as they rotate. Synthetic lubricants provide the best performance for positive displacement blowers. For all Roots blowers, the manufacturer recommends using their Roots branded lubricant at an appropriate viscosity for the ambient conditions where your blower is operating. This is the temperature of the space immediately surrounding your blower and drive. VG220 is the most common viscosity for use when the ambient temperature is between 32 and 90 degrees Fahrenheit. For higher temperatures above 90, use VG320, and for temperatures below freezing, use VG100. Root synthetic lubricant can be purchased in quarts, gallons, pails, or drums. If you decide to use a different brand of blower oil, you must make sure it is premium grade and non-detergent with rust, oxidation, and foam inhibitors. Please note that automotive type oils do not have these properties and are not suitable for blowers. At PD Blowers, we maintain a large inventory of Roots oil in stock, as well as our own VG220 synthetic oil that has outperformed the name brands in third-party testing. You can find the blower oil you need online at www.pdblowers.com. When a blower is first put into service, the oil levels should be checked daily with an oil change after the first 100 operating hours. After that, the frequency of required oil changes is determined by the oil temperature and operating hours. Reference your blower manual or our website for more information on oil change intervals. In this demonstration, we will be changing the oil in a Roots Ram 616 model, although this procedure will be the same on any Ram series blower. Recommended tools include a crescent wrench, a funnel, thread sealant, and the new oil. We'll start by draining the old oil out of the blower. I like to start by removing the breathers because it makes the draining process a little faster. So you pull your breathers off, just set them aside. The only tool you'll need for this is a crescent wrench. You find the drain plug. I like to pull the one located underneath the sight glass. Loosen the plug. Pull the plug and set it aside. Let the machine drain. While the oil is draining from your machine, it's a good time to clean your plugs. Use a stiff wire brush to remove any old pipe dope or sealant that's left on both the male and female threads. We recommend using a thread sealant when reinstalling the plugs to ensure a good seal. Even a small leak could cause your blower to lose oil over time, which could eventually lead to a failure. At PD Blowers, we typically use Vibratite 42050, but similar products work as well. When reinstalling the plugs, be very careful not to over-tighten, as this could strip the female threads in the casing. Once the oil is finished draining, you're going to take your plugs, reinstall them. With your crescent wrench, you're going to tighten them back up. Now that our oil has drained, we will demonstrate how to add new oil to the blower. You will notice that we drained the oil from a 616 ram in a horizontal orientation. Now we will demonstrate adding oil to the same 616 ram, but in a vertical orientation. Roots blowers can have different configurations depending on the desired placement and direction of the drive and airflow. Check out our video library for more information about how to change the configuration of your Roots blower. The oil change procedure will be the same in any configuration. The breathers will be located at the top of the gear and drive-in covers, and the drain plugs will be at the bottom. First, we'll need to make sure the breathers have been removed, which we did in the first part of this video when we drained the old oil. Next, we'll start adding new oil to the gearbox. 
install a funnel in where the breather just came from and pour oil until you have oil halfway up your sight glass. We're going to start with a half a quart just to see where that puts us. Let it drain completely out of the funnel. Give it a few seconds to register in a sight glass. If it doesn't, continue to pour. If you watch your sight glass carefully, you'll see the oil start to come into the sight glass. And you'll notice it starts slowing down then. That's one full quart of oil. Let me open the second. If you'll notice the oil is coming up the sight glass. It's now about halfway up the sight glass, so one full quart of oil is all you need on this end. Take your funnel, move it to the drive end. And repeat the process. Again, start with about a half a quart. See where that gets you? And a half quart puts us about halfway up the side glass. A little over. Remove the funnel. Set it aside. Reinstall your breathers. Take your wrench, snug your breathers back down tight. Not super tight, just snug. And that is all. PD Blowers keeps a large selection of lubricants in stock and ready to ship. Find them online at our website, www.pdblowers.com. In addition to lubricants, you'll find filters, gauges, silencers, valves, and any other accessories you may need for your blower or vacuum pump. We also have an experienced service department that can repair blowers and vacuum pumps from all major manufacturers. Give us a call or visit us online at www.pdblowers.com.